Americans and other friends and subscribers around the world. Finally, we are uh, going to get back to some uh, some blacksmithing. I think it's been since when this kitty since uh, I think before the summer. Other than forging out, you know, or or small because it don't take much to forge. Uh, is that kitten? Yeah. To yeah. forge. Uh, you know, the small blades for the wood carving knives doesn't take a lot of hoorah but I had all the all my smithing stuff on the other side where I was gonna build the so I was laughing with Kitty saying how I moved it uh, I don't know how many how many times quite a few different times I think this was the original when we first uh, actually when I first bought it I built that little shed cover mm -hmm. It was underneath that so anyways moved it around but this is gonna be it I got the I got uh, all the poles to build the because I'm gonna obviously be, do a lodge pole frame and I'm gonna have the uh, roof slant off this way this is one of my favorite places to pound because I get to stare at the you know, stare down on my crick and uh, nature and all that but it's out here but I'm going to have it, for now, obviously, I'm going to have to keep it very ventilated, but I'm going to make windows that I can prop up and open it in the uh, summer and spring time and even the winter time if it's a decent day, and then also close it down to get out of the wind. And then my buddy, uh, Dave, he's got a big hood he gave me i got to get up and get, and he's actually got me a um, buying it, but he's got me another table that I got to get up there and get I was supposed to get up there and help him do a few things last week but all the rain I haven't talked to him so I gotta get a hold of him but anyway I get a pound out uh, I've got a couple of orders um, a friend of ours at Cascade wants a horse horseshoe knife and um, I've got another couple of knives man got written down that people wanted when I got everything set back up and then I'm going to do a 40 inch wrench knife and I'm gonna do one of these little I love these little babies and I got a couple more I gotta figure out where I put those other ones they might be on the computer okay that's where I just got this one mm -hmm. this is the one that they uh, um, sent me mm -hmm. and uh, what else man anyway man I got so much stuff I can do some uh, liver eaters which I noticed somebody else is now making trap spring knives <laughs> and selling them on eBay different than mine but I thought that was kind of amusing but anyway so I'm gonna get started here and the mosquito will come out and film a little bit as we get rolling and then oh and the one thing I did want to say too is we are going to keep the prices down on the stuff we are going to try selling all the knives on Etsy you know on and the ones that are on Etsy and then the ones I do today before I get them and get smoked out mosquito. Yeah. Before I get them, uh, gotta get some char. I actually got some making down the creek. But uh either we're gonna go up the mountain today or tomorrow, but we're gonna bring back some char now. I'm back ready to roll. Man, I'm actually excited about <laughs> it's been a little while. I love my I love pounding on metal. But um Oh, these things make great vent picks for blacks for uh, and alls for uh, black powder. Black powder. So we're gonna try to sell everything on Etsy, and because I can keep the prices down, because the fees are not as extreme on Etsy, and I love Etsy. Mm -hmm. That's mostly handmade. You know, we sell some of our stuff, and I've let it slack off. So I think that'd be a good place to go. But you can look at the link below, and you can uh, message us on YouTube, or you can send us a email at idohillbilly at yahoo.com tell us what you want and you can paypal us or <coughs> however we can work that out and just kidding send a bill or actually i guess you just do it. it's better to do it the friends and family thing if we do it that way yeah it, it really it just depends on what you yeah whatever you man yeah. you feel the best about and stuff yeah. like that we just if we do the um you know if you're buying direct from us friends and family and stuff like that then it doesn't cost us because paypal Everything's fees, man. Everybody wants a piece of the action. Yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna start uh, 
pounding away here in a second after I go get me some of the char and then Miss Kitty will check back in and I'll show the progress as we roll along here. Mm -hmm. So, move along here. Ting gets to you after a while. But, uh, oh, what do I got going? I gotta get some more char on here for one thing. Anything got on this one? I'm just going to show you the little things. So, we got the little, uh, this is a little, uh, will be a neck knife. <laughs> Okay, move it one more time as soon as I get the camera. That was, I mean, it. that's a little, little baby. Yeah. That was just a piece that I found, just moving all this stuff around. And then I gotta finish pounding that one out. And that's another little neck knife, trap spring. And that's off the pieces I cut to do the uh, other ones. And then I got another, this one's pretty cool. This is actually one I'd started and uh, found in the midst of the stuff. And it's gonna be a little, Nail spike, you see it's kind of a small, small but kind of cool. It's got these ribs on the back. I'm just straighten it out a little bit more. Another little nail knife. And then the ones that I've spending, uh, I've got other things I can do today. But it's nice to be back out here. Got a, uh, not completely done yet, but got a liver eater. Man, sharp little mother. These are great friggin' great knives, hold great edges. That's the trap spring, what we call the liver eater. Then I got that little spike, kind of a little skinner. Turned out pretty cool, didn't yeah, it? <laughs> it's a little cutie. Little cutie, so I mean, you could do a little skinning knife, man, it's pretty dang sharp. And then the Ford, I actually, I think it's got a good edge on it too, and it turned out pretty cool. The only thing that bums me out is I did ting the script a little bit, but it's still pretty. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. You can still see the forward. It just irritated me. I did pick up a, it's not really the one for the gallon cascade, but somewhere, maybe I took it on the other side, but I've got a, uh, it's a shorter horseshoe that I started pounding out. It, uh, I don't know, maybe I burned it up, <laughs> but I lost it somewhere. I'll find it, but it's not the one for... I want to do hers a little longer. Of she can take, take a choice, I guess. If yeah. that's what she wants. It's just a shorter horseshoe. So anyway, man, I'm going to finish these up. Uh, finish pounding them out, harden them, and clean them up. And get the edge on them. And then we'll finish off this video. And this kitty was saying, put a, you know, lay them out. And... I probably won't list these on Etsy tonight, but we're gonna lay them out with numbers, and then you can. We got We're gonna go watch the, the grandbabies. I think, aren't we? We, just, we haven't decided, but yeah. <laughs> we're probably gonna go watch the grandbabies tonight. So then, uh, you know, unless I get back, or when I get back from that, because that'll be fairly late if I put any on. But more than likely. I'll just wait till in the morning to put, it, put the knives on Etsy, so that will give you a... Uh, <laughs> so that'll give you a, a chance to email us or uh, message us on the uh, YouTube, and we'll have them numbered, and you can say which one you want, and I'll actually, when I finish these up here in a bit, she'll do it and snap a picture that we'll put in there with numbers, and you can say what you want, and... I'll tell the prices when we do it. Very good. So, all right. I'm getting back to pen. All right. So, now you can see what uh, my day consisted of. Man, it was great to be back on the back to pad and some metal. Man, I should have been wearing my brace there. I kind of forgot about it. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to go over. So, <clears throat> these are all done other than being signed. And as you can see, Miss Kitty numbered them and Miss Kitty priced them. So we're gonna go, so these two are $25 each, free shipping. So that's $25 shipped. These two here, three and four, is $20 shipped. 
and five, six, seven, and eight is fifteen dollars shipped. Show each and every one of them. Yeah. All right. So of course you got the liver eater, man trap spring knife, man sharpered and all get up. Like I said, these hold an edge. One of these days I'm gonna make one and keep one for myself and carry it. And I always end up selling them. And that one is twenty-five dollars shipped. And then you got the an old. Uh, Horseshoe that we actually picked up off the mountain up at our buddy's place And I'd started it before but man it turned out um, Man it's pretty dang nice sharp kind of a little skinner knife and That was $25 shipped and then you got the little this is for the little mine um, Gold mine spikes for the little rails And it's a little skinner man sharper and all get up cute little you know and I got big hands man It's still a cute little Get in there and get her done, knife. And that one's $20 shipped. And then you got the forge, and like I said, I did ping it a little bit on the forge, but it's still very cool, very sharp. Awesome, uh, awesome little knife. And that one's $25, or $20 shipped, so that's number four. And then you got the old spike, railroad spike with a nice twist in the thing there. That's off of a railroad? Uh, no, this one is actually you said a uh, railroad spike. Oh I did? Oh that's yeah. just a spike. Okay. Just a bit large nail basically. You know, nice little I kinda rounded it off there so you don't get your all of them I try to fit to my hands but then Miss Kitty can come in and use them too. So that one and that's uh number five and that's a fifteen dollar shipped. And then you got another little trap spring and it's a neck knife you can hang around the thing, you make you a little Scabbard. I did make the scabbards for a while, but um, the time and everything, man, you just have to make your own or just wear it without it. Yeah. And that one's nice. $15 shipped. And then you got a good, great for a letter opener or whatever, but all, and all these are sharp, very sharp. And that's just an old, uh, it's bigger than a 16 penny, but that's just a big old nail that came out of, uh, it's local, you know, up out of one of the old buildings, man, because I keep all them old nails, you know, and do that. And then you got another trap spring, little neck knife or whatever you want to use it for, man. Put it in your possible's bag or whatever. Great patch knife for buckskin and stuff like that. Mountain man style trap spring. So again, so you got $25 shipped on one and two. Three and four is $20 shipped and five through eight. Five, six, seven, eight is fifteen dollars shipped, and you can send us an email or message us on YouTube here. We'll watch that tonight, and like I said, I'll probably I'll go ahead and wait till in the morning, and then you'll find them on Etsy. And then I'll be pounding some more. Good. It's a good Lord willing, and the creeks don't rise. We'll be back again tomorrow.